the idea that this was going to be possible to create a, a sensory garden for people with dementia just happened. You know, it was it was as if we were welcomed into something that was already operational or existing. And at the same time, Dementia Australia uh, uh, allocated 21 grants for, for projects to make their own area more dementia friendly. And one person actually made the comment that the stars were aligned. So I started a little while ago with the idea of the, the what to do with this space and it eventually became a regional park and the name of the park is Wookurong Regional Park and the Wookurong means a place of plenty. Yes, the, the, the park was established from the bottom up with very, very strong community support, hundreds of local members, hundreds of local residents, and about 40 community groups who were behind the idea or the notion of a park. Um, in that there were many different activities take place in this park, and the idea of a trail uh, that was dementia friendly was just added another dimension to all the other users. Well, a sensory trail is actually something where there's nothing to distract anybody else but just being out in nature and just you don't even have to say anything you can just share just that being out here and I think uh, and especially with the grandkids and the kids you know having an area that the family can come to together. So we're talking about uh, native plants that have a particular smell that that impact on people and certainly you know the visual look and we're also wanting to make it um, you know, a, a, a multimedia uh, garden in that there'll be sounds as well for those people who, who choose to perhaps use a smartphone. They'll be able to hear birdsong or they'll be able to hear music from their era. Because we do want it to be something that they help develop with us. That sense of ownership, spending time with other community members, being connected into nature we really feel that um, that will give us the best product over time. And it's also probably educative for carers to see how a dementia trail, what it is that in a dementia trail that might actually sort of, how you might design even your own backyard, what you put in your house when you're living with dementia. So this trail can be uh, a, a bit of a pace setter for a whole lot of services in Ballarat. Well, dementia friendly is, I think, first of all, being in an area that's um, safe, non-threatening. People can tend to look at, at people with dementia and Alzheimer's and, and if they're trying to converse with you and share things, um, just look weirdly and not want to know or turn away, um, which is sad because it doesn't choose anyone in particular. They're, they're sometimes a disease that, that changes us and we have to learn to accept these and, and not look at them as being weird and shun people. Somewhere quiet, it's uh, not to have TVs going uh, and this sort of thing and it's just nice to be able to, be able to you know, get outside. It looks like a place we can go where people aren't pointing at us or making fun of us or shoving through past us because we're moving too slow. Um, you know, not being rude, not noisy, <laughs> just nature itself. And this is something we're prov providing here in Ballarat for the future, not just for us, but for people who, we, in years to come, because the park's been here for a long time. It has. And it's going to be here for a lot longer. Mm, we and hope. We need, we, it will be. Mm. And we need to make it as friendly as we can for everybody, but especially people with disabilities and in our situation for people with dementia. Well, my vision would be that um, we're standing in a purpose-built car park that um, allows people with minibuses or care uh, vehicles to be able to stop safely, um, have their pets along with them, so assistance dogs with them um, if they need them, that the trail is wide enough for not just one person to walk along or if they're in a wheelchair that it can be multiple wheelchairs that they can have several dogs and, and have their grandchildren cycling next to them. So that it is wide enough for a shared family. Hopefully it'll get people such as myself and other people involved, you know, to, to come out and to have them walking, I suppose, is the secret rather than sitting inside. 
Look, I'd, I'd like to make more people aware of what we're doing here because um, I think it's, it's needed and it's, it's giving people with dementia and Alzheimer's an area of their own that they can bring family and friends and stop and enjoy nature. But it just needs someone to actually get going. So we need just a core group at the start, get that planning done, working out what we think is best for the park area. It'll be best for the people who are going to come and use it. I don't see it sitting there and being forgotten. I see it very well used, very well loved and sustainable, which is a great outcome. The process will reach thousands of people and will have a greater impact because people are getting something back. You know, they ha they'll, ha they'll come and they'll have the experience that they will enjoy. And uh, I think coupling the idea of dementia with a really positive project is going to be very effective in making Bella more dementia friendly. This all gives people hopefully an opportunity to live um, in their present and, and have positive um, memories of the present moment. You know, they might not, the brain not, might be able to synthesize when people talk to them that they can respond, but they take in a lot more than people give them credit. And I think, you know, we need to give them the respect and uh, dignity and quality of life that they deserve. I'm just looking forward to seeing all these people enjoying the bush and this lovely track they're going to have.